guys welcome back to my bubble and in this video I have some spaghetti as you can see with sausage ground beef and shrimp and of course my corona <laughs> how have you guys been how's it going your girl just got home from work not that long ago I am tired I am hungry I am beat and if you hear any noises I got one of my baby monsters down here behind me because they was just acting up and it's like every time I'm about to make a video they just choose to be stupid so I always end up bringing one of them with me if that kind of bothers you any of you I'm sorry but I don't think it does I mean they're babies they're adorable right my Kiki Kuaka yeah she's playing anyways let me not bother her before she starts her shit how have you guys been how's it going it's been what a week or so <sighs> life I tell you life and I'm so hungry. These spaghetti, spaghetti, these spaghetti, this spaghetti, so bomb. Like, I love it. Mm. Oh my God, boogers. My nose is like all red. Not cute. So what's up you guys talk to me tell me something are you guys excited for thanksgiving i am it's like my favorite holiday hands down and it's my favorite holidays because of the food you get to dress up and just sit in the sala and do absolutely nothing just talk listen to music and eat with family members take pictures and post them on the ground <laughs> right i mean that's what i do with my family on thanksgiving i'm excited for this year because it's the twins first thanksgiving it's the twins first everything really. Mama, you okay? So, what can we talk about you guys? You know what? This wasn't supposed to be a story time, but I'm going to turn it into a story time real quick for you guys. All right, so lately, can this go brighter? Yeah. All right, so lately I've been contemplating um, cutting my hair. Like, you guys, I got inches. I got inches and it's real and I've always had my hair this long like always I've cut my hair like really short like twice in my whole 29 years of life um and the first time was when I was 10 years old and then the second one was when I was like 23 around there and it was because it was like really damaged and falling out and just messed up so I had to, I had no choice. But now I really been wanting to cut my hair like really short, like up to here. Like, you know, you know that hair, that hairstyle that's like really in, it's like a long bob kind of. I'll insert a picture right here. <clears throat> Anyways, that hair to cut, I don't know. I want something different like my hair right now is not damaged it's not messed up it's there's nothing wrong with my hair it's fine 
but I just want a different look. Like, I want to look different. I'm, I'm like, not bored of my hair, but bored of my hair, you know? So I wanted to try something different. A lot of people are telling me, no, your hair is what makes you you. Your hair is your signature. You're going to look very different. You may not like it. Once it's cut, it's cut. You can't go back on it. You're going to regret it. You can't do a ponytail. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're going to end up buying hair. There's women that will die for your hair. There's women that pay hundreds for your hair. Blah, blah, blah. You guys already know. Mm. Tell me how I'm over here determined to cut my hair. And let me give you a little visual aid of how I kind of want it. Like this. <laughs> like when I play with it in the mirror, like it's like, am I going to like it? You see, like, shoulder length. But then when I see it on other girls, it's like it looks so beautiful. I don't know. So, here I am determined I'm going to do it. And yesterday, I leave work early, right? I leave work early. I make my appointment with my hairdresser um, to go get my hair cut, blah, blah. When I get there... And I show her the picture of the hairstyle I want to do. She looks at me like, <laughs> and starts laughing like, you're kidding, right? You're not going to do it. I know you. You're crazy with your hair. Like, you're just talking caca. You're not going to do it. And I'm like, um, that's what I came for, girl. We're doing this. So all the other ladies there were like, let me see what picture is that, blah, blah, blah. And they just went off, you guys. Like, no. That only looks good on models. If you want to look, if you want to know how that hairstyle looks on you, just buy a wig, a lace front, and try it. You're not gonna like it. You're gonna regret it. Blah blah blah. They were making me nervous. God damn it! I was already nervous. Like it's, it's gonna be a drastic change for me. And then these people aren't making it any better, like at all. No, don't do it. Your hair is beautiful. Don't do it. Blah blah blah. You guys, I left my job at 4.45. I left that hair place at almost 10 o'clock p.m. And I still got my hair. I didn't do shit, okay? I didn't do anything. Like, they literally scared me. They creeped me out and they talked me out of doing it. Plain and simple. Like, I dead chickened out. I chickened out. And it was so crazy because I was so determined. Like, I'm going to cut my hair. I want a new look. You know, I want something different. I want a different type of glow. You know, I'm about to be 30 next year. You know, I want to look, you know, popping, but in a, in a different way. You know, something different. They talked me out of it completely. All the way. Uh. Hey, guys, look at my new She got the haircut. It's golden, right? It's like my nice and It's so beautiful, like. like wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But I'm look, look at that, look at that. Yes. But I'm so chicken to do it, like. She and I didn't have a real reason to do. It. You see, I did it because my hair was all types of damage and had heat damage and had split ends and it just wasn't healthy. Mommy has good hair, so she just be chicken. I know, I just want a new look, honestly. That's that's really all it is. And I still want to do it. Like, I'm still contemplating on doing it. It's just that when I call up my hair lady, I'm going to just be like, listen, I'm going over there. Don't talk to me. Don't say nothing. I don't need your opinion. I don't want your opinion. Nothing. Just do your job. God damn it. I know that's going to be hard because she's still going to be like, you sure? You sure, nigga? Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to regret it. It happened to me. Blah, blah. And that's like... And look, it'll be kind of like that. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Should I cut my hair? Should I leave it long? What do you think about it? Look at that. Look at that right there. Right there. Like that. Bam, 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 bam. bam. It's kind of cute. Your girl will look cute. Different. Different. I want something different because, uh, like, I love my hair. My hair is beautiful. I could play with it. I could do all types of hairstyles. But 
it's time for a little change, you know? It's time for a little change. Comment down below, please. And let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I cut it? Are you guys looking forward to the change? What's up? Tell me something. I need opinions, please. Oh yeah, that mission and a half. This was yesterday, by the way, for nothing. At least my Bri Bri got her hair done. You know, she looked gorgeous. Bless you, Kiki. Kind of getting full. Maybe it's the beer. Oh, another thing, you guys. I've been trying to do. Um, I'm not. I'm not even gonna talk about it because I, I forgot. I completely broke that diet today. So I was trying to do um a 14 day challenge where you don't eat no soda, no candy, no junk food, no fast food, no donuts. No sweet fattening shit. All the things that I eat like on a daily basis. And I failed today. I started Monday and today, Thursday, I, I failed. I ate three pieces of cheesecake at work. And it felt so good. Like, you guys don't understand. I felt so guilty. But my tummy was so happy. Like, like I'm a fat fat girl. And now I'm eating pasta. <laughs> what do you know? They didn't say anything about salty foods. They just mentioned the fast food, the junk food, and the sweets. So, the candy and stuff. Mm -mm. Don't forget to comment down below, you guys, if I should cut my hair. Okay, I'm really taking your input into consideration, so. In my next video, you'll find out if I did it or not. <coughs> You know when you want to stop eating because you're full but the food is so good that you don't want to leave nothing behind that moment right now Like you see me just going like this like a pig. <sighs> so good. Video I had Nia with me 
Now I have my Kiki. She was eating an airhead, so that's why she's all dirty. Say hi. Look, Mama. Look. Look, 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 look. Hi. Say hi. Uh. Say hi. Anyways, you guys, um, I'm done with this mukbang. If I don't see you before Thanksgiving, you guys, I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving with all your loved ones, with friends, family. I hope you eat a lot. I hope you enjoy yourself. Be safe. Don't get too drunk. Just have a great, great time. And I want to let you guys know that I am so, so, so thankful for each and every one of you. The ones that show love, the ones that comment, the ones that support. All of you guys that watch my videos, thank you so, so much. Forever grateful over here. And I love you guys. Tell them we love you. Yay! Tell we love you. We love you to the people. Tell we love you to the people. We love you to the people. My Kiki. My big head little girl. Hmm? All right, you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to rate. Ah, oh, what the hell? My earring. Come on, tell them. Comment. Dile, dile. And subscribe. Bye, guys.